Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Want to give you guys a heads up on a Steam game that's been pulled forever. More humorous than anything. I don't think anyone's really going to lose a wink of sleep over this, but I thought I would mention it anyway. And I want to give you guys an update on Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales. Maybe an early indication about how the game is doing from a commercial standpoint. As far as all-time peak player base, we'll talk that in a little bit. But first of all, Postal 3 has been pulled from Steam. Now, the game had a mostly negative reception, 2,149 reviews. 38% of those reviews were positive, so I don't really think, you know, people are going to lose that much sleep over it. Um, and yeah, the reviews are just absolutely uh, ridiculing the game. But nonetheless, what's even more funny is Running With Scissors, the, um, uh, the Twitter account noted, with Postal 3's DRM issues and overall shittiness of the game itself, the game is officially no longer being sold on Steam. We didn't have control over the page, so we couldn't make it free before the DRM issues began. At least people will no longer buy that trash. Wow, that's, uh, that's pretty extreme, but nonetheless... The game has been pulled forever on Steam. I like to, you know, whenever I hear about games getting pulled from Steam, I like to give you guys a heads up. Usually, you know, it has things to do with licensing issues or partnership agreements ending, and then that's why a game would be pulled from Steam. In this case, it's uh, DRM issues that are going to make the game unplayable in, uh, unplayable, so like why sell the game, you know? Kind of gives you a little bit of worry about, you know, games with DRMs for the future because, well, you know, nobody cares about Postal 3. What about a billion of the other games that have uh, DRMs? So that is something to consider when you hear about DRMs. Most games nowadays, what happens is they'll have a DRM initially and then like a year or two down the line, the developer will patch out the DRM if they do run DRMs in their games. Some devs do, some devs don't. Um, I believe Capcom is like one of the developers with the Resident Evil games that have like Denuvo in them. Denuvo is pretty prominent across a lot of different games. Nonetheless, with Postal 3, that has been pulled. And again, humorous nonetheless as far as uh, the game getting pulled and it just getting absolutely crapped on. But uh, yeah, I don't think too many people are going to lose sleep over that, as I mentioned. All right, moving on from that, I do want to give you guys a heads up about Spider-Man Miles Morales. Now, I think everybody had come into this game as far as those of you guys that care about sales numbers and things like that, I think ed everybody had expected that the game was not going to do as well as Spider-Man Remastered. It just didn't make any sense for it to do as well as Spider-Man Remastered for a variety of different reasons. First of all, Spider-Man Remastered had the novelty of it still being one of the earlier games, uh, or earlier PlayStation games that have come over to PC, and it being a major, major release. Um, you know, at this point, seeing how Uncharted has done, seeing how Sackboy has done, that novelty has dissipated a little bit. Don't get it twisted. When a major PlayStation game comes out on PC, I still foresee it to do very, very well. I foresee God of War Ragnarok killing it when it does eventually come to PC. I foresee Horizon Forbidden West killing it, even though that novelty has kind of worn off a little bit. Like, back when Horizon Zero Dawn first came out, that game, that game was a shocker for it to come to PC. Then days gone, even though it was a lesser exclusive and it didn't do as well as Horizon or God of War, it was still a little bit of a surprise to see that come to PC. At this point, none of this is a surprise. Like, now we know Sony's game plan with them releasing their games on PlayStation 5 or PS4, and then, and then ultimately a year, 16 months, 24 months down the line, it'll be coming to PC as well. So, Spider-Man kind of had that novelty, still Miles Morales doesn't. And obviously, the biggest reason, uh, or... Probably the first or second biggest reason is that Miles Morales is a smaller game. It's a standalone expansion to uh, Spider-Man Remastered. The gimmick they did on PlayStation was that you could either buy this game for $50 or you could pay $70 and you get Spider-Man Remastered as well. That's why I was kind of whack on PC that they released Spider-Man Remastered at $60 and Miles Morales at $50. So if you were buying your games directly from Steam, you were paying a total of $110. And then lastly, Miles Morales is a follow-up to Spider-Man. So you're only really pooling people from the people that have played Spider-Man Remastered and the people that have completed Spider-Man Remastered, and then you're trying to get them to drop another $50 on Miles Morales. So there's a lot of different factors that would suggest that this game was not going to do as well as Spider-Man Remastered. Spider-Man Remastered, its all-time player peak when it came out was 66,436, thanks to SteamDB for that. Miles Morales peaked at 13,539, so it did a little bit less than a quarter of the all-time peak player base. 
Not too surprised at all about that. I think that's what most people were expecting. Look, it was one thing dropping $60 on Spider-Man Remastered because that is a big game. That is the first game in the uh, in this, you know, arc of Spider-Man titles. Miles Morales, I think the majority of people, and I saw it in my comment section profusely, is that people are like, yo, super excited that the game's out on PC, very happy it's on PC, but $50? No moss on that, and I think nobody was getting fooled thinking that this was like a Spider-Man 2 or a you know, a distinct follow-up in the sense of it being a major game. Some people actually do like Miles Morales better than Spider-Man Remastered in the sense they find Miles to be a more compelling character, they think the game is more streamlined and that actually uh, helps the game. So, like, Spider-Man Remastered has a lot of content. I think your mileage will vary as far as how enjoyable you find that side content to be. Like, do you really enjoy finding the cats of Black Cat or whatever? Do you really enjoy doing all the um, the Harry Osborn like little labs or whatever? Like, I actually enjoyed the Harry Osborn labs. I think those were like some of the better side content in all the games. But do you really enjoy finding all the backpacks, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera? out of Spider-Man Remastered. Miles Morales is more of a streamlined game. It's a shorter game, but uh, sometimes a more compact, concise game is going to be better received to the people that play it than a larger game that dilutes the content a little bit. Not saying that Spider-Man Remastered is a diluted game. By no stretch of the imagination is that the case. It's just that some of the side missions, some of the side quests, I didn't find that uh, compelling in Spider-Man Remastered. Nonetheless, I do think it's a better game than Miles Morales. Let's not get it twisted here. Um, but yeah, Miles Morales is a game that when it's 50% off, when it's 60% off, I do foresee people at that point ultimately going ahead and buying the game, but at this stage of the game, it being $50, it being a game that's two years old, it being a standalone expansion to a game that, you know, a lot of people have picked up, but there was some criticism towards Spider-Man about its price point being too high. So when Miles Morales, the standalone expansion is also $50, it doesn't have DLC, like at least Spider-Man Remastered comes with the city that never sleeps, that extends the game a little bit. Miles Morales is just Miles Morales, like you're getting a pretty short game a game that requires you to play the first game that some people were already turned off by the price, but some people have bought but haven't completed it yet since, you know, some people go for 100%ing it or whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm not too surprised about this, but let me know what you guys think. I think, uh, you know, that's still a pretty successful number. And like, as far as the investment that is required to do these ports, I imagine Miles Morales was something that was parlayed with Spider-Man Remastered, so it was a one-two punch, but they were getting both of them done at the same time, and uh, I'm sure Sony is incredibly happy with the sales of both of these games, and ultimately, it's just going to be perpetual revenue that they're going to generate for years and years. That's kind of how it works on PC, and once it's, you know, 50-60% off, I see a lot of people picking it up then, but that's going to do it for me. Again, Postal 3 has been pulled from Steam. I don't think you guys are going to lose too much of, uh, you know, your sleep over that, and Spider-Man Miles Morales, definitely, from a sales number standpoint, what we can tell so far is it's doing a lot, um, a lot less than remastered, a Spider-Man remastered, but I don't think that's too shocking, and I think Sony's still gonna be very happy with what they've got, uh, with Miles Morales. That's gonna do it for me, let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below, and as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the the content I'm posting, but as always guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.